the Missile Defense Agency is developing and fielding an integrated layered ballistic missile defense system, the BMDS, including interceptors capable of engaging enemy ballistic missiles in all phases of flight, boost, mid-course, and terminal. Each of today's interceptors carries one kill vehicle that will seek and destroy the target, slamming into it at over 10 times the speed of sound. However, future ballistic missiles may carry more than one lethal payload. The Missile Defense Agency's multiple kill vehicle, MKV, is developing a robust defense that dramatically increases our probability of successfully intercepting all credibly lethal targets. Because the MKV is such an important force multiplier for all land and sea-based interceptors, there are two parallel technical programs in development, MKVL and MKVR. The MKVL approach delivers a carrier vehicle and its bandolier of kill vehicles to the battle. Using its long-range seeker to sort out the objects, the carrier vehicle deploys its kill vehicles, assigning each a target to destroy and guiding them until the last few moments when they execute the kill autonomously. The MKVR concept is an evolutionary approach that gangs together a team of kill vehicles, each identical in hardware and software configuration. One of the kill vehicles acts like a playmaker, communicating the game plan to the other kill vehicles. Any of the kill vehicles can take over the role of managing the engagement if necessary. Both the MKVL and R concepts are based on proven kill vehicle technology fielded in our THAAD, Standard Missile 3, and ground-based interceptors today. In both configurations, many kill vehicles will be packaged onto a single interceptor. During mid-course flight, the enemy may attempt to disguise their warheads or deploy countermeasures and other types of debris around their warheads in an effort to confuse the BMDS sensors. MKV, the force multiplier, destroys both enemy warheads and the countermeasures designed to foil our defenses. The multiple kill vehicle will enhance the effectiveness of both sea and land-based interceptors. We're designing both MKV payloads now using open architecture, common interfaces, standards, and flight code built in a model-based software development environment. These engineering tools will guarantee a lower cost system with significantly shorter development cycle times. The MKV is making excellent progress. A series of risk reduction tests demonstrated the technology we use in THAAD, SM3, and EKV kill vehicles can be applied in new ways to make MKV possible soon. Alternative kill vehicle propulsion systems were tested. An MKVL seeker unit was characterized in a threat environment. And recently, the carrier vehicle's long-range acquisition seeker was successfully calibrated at the Space Dynamics Laboratory. Last summer's static test of the carrier vehicle propulsion system indicates steady progress toward the first hover test of the MKVL scheduled for fall 2008. MKVR, seeker pathfinder hardware, already developed is ready to support the MKV objectives. MKV is on schedule for major upcoming milestones, including the 2008 hover test, acquisition seeker test, and delivery of the two-color focal plane array. Multiple kill vehicle, MKV, the missile defense force multiplier, leveraging today's technology, providing evolutionary upgrades to our nation's ballistic missile defense system, ensuring robust defense of our homeland, our troops, our allies, and our friends.